It's all about this little grommet today. Are you new to homesteading? Are you thinking about how to be more self-reliant? Interested in how to raise animals? How to grow your own food? Or how to preserve food? Do you like the outdoors? Do you like pets? Do you like animals? Then welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. Join Sherry and Rob as we learn new things, new equipment, and new techniques. Sometimes we have great fails and great success, but most of all, we're trying. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. I know it's kind of dark in here, but I thought I'd show you. We did manage to move one ton of pellets onto a pallet into our barn from uh, the truck, truck out here. And uh, I have to laugh because poor Sherry works every day. And uh, so as soon as she gets home, she sees the truck parked over here. And she's go, you're going to make me work, aren't you? <laughs> it's like, sorry. So, uh, but she was very happy to see all the things we achieved in the yard um, also. So anyway, she, uh, she goes, well, because I'm behind the desk every day, she's been worrying about her weight like all right well <laughs> there's always chores here because <laughs> uh, when she was working last year when she uh, didn't have to work uh well she's always working but uh all of us were keeping our weight down pretty good and the winter's definitely been hard on us but today is all about yes i said the grommet and today is a plumbing day so what we're going to do is take this little grommet let's see if you can see it and uh, we've got to get a, a one inch, or is a half inch uh, PVC pipe through it that seals well for our Dutch buckets. So we're going to do a, uh, a test on an old bucket, get everything fitting right before we drill holes in those brand new buckets I bought. All right, so we're back to the grommet. So I bought myself a one inch uh, hole drill and this is going to be my sacrificial bucket and so we're going to drill this hole one inch hole in there see how the grommet works and then try to get a uh, pvc pipe through it and see how we do Alright, so this is the, the pipe I need to get through that hole. And uh, the best way to do is wet this down, so I'll probably use a little spit. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I've got to get this through here, and it needs to fit snug. So let's, let's see what happens. And it looks like we got it. So I think our first attempt is the right attempt. Uh, it's definitely snug. I think it'll be watertight. We're not dealing with um, high pressure water, and uh, that'll work good. So, uh, <laughs> glad we did this test before we drilled our really good buckets. So, uh, I think we have a winner. So, we're in the greenhouse now, and uh, I thought I'd show you. This is what one of our new buckets look like. They're four gallons. They're uh, uh, food grade, and they can, uh, do have lids for them too. I don't know if I'll be using the lids. Uh, so I'm going to drill holes in every bucket I have, which I have 24, two inches above the bottom, and uh, the PVC pipe will be about, oh, six to eight inches, because uh, it can move, uh, so it can line up with the larger pipe I'm going to put along the edge of, along the edge of all these shelves. So uh, we'll have the water tank over there, and so we'll be able to circulate water through these uh, buckets. So, uh, but the first thing is getting the buckets set up. Uh, once we get the holes put in these, then we'll be putting a, uh, a filter bag um, that'll fill this whole bucket before we use uh, what we're gonna use for uh, our, our uh, we're gonna use uh, perlite, and a mixture of the uh, of another uh, ver I can't remember the name of the other one uh, for what we're going to plant our tomatoes in. 
So, uh, sorry I don't have uh, all the terminology down, but uh, we'll get it. <laughs> so anyway, so let me get some of these drilled, or get one of these drilled, and let's see how, uh, if it works fine in this bucket. Cross my fingers. These are not cheap buckets. So uh, I think it's like $80 for 12 or 10 So uh, anyway, I don't want to waste any of our buckets. So let me get a hole drilled in this one, and we'll see how it goes. About right there. All right, so I drilled my first hole. I'm going to put the grommet in and see what happens. All right, so I already had a lesson learned. Make sure you clean off um, the edging from after you drilled it. Uh, it interferes with the grommet. So I'm cleaning this off now. We'll try it again. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. There's a pipe. Now on both sides of this pipe, I'll be putting 90 degree uh, joints on them, uh, pointing down. And uh, that's how this uh, these buckets will drain so uh, like I said I'll probably be cutting this pipe about six to eight inches so I have because uh, I can move the pipe back and forth to fit the way I want it to drain so you'll see that in the future but yeah so far happy happy all right guys so I want to do another reminder that uh, I told you we're fairly new at a lot of things we do here and this is one of them uh, I bought this to uh, cut PVC pipe with. I've never used one before. I decided to cut my PVC pipes at uh, 7 inches. So uh, let's see how this tool works. So uh, the tool worked pretty good. Got that in. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm going to go to 8 inches. Um, it won't hurt to the fact they did one at 7 but uh, uh, just to make sure I have enough play because I got lots of room of maneuver in this bucket and uh, let me show you what it'll look like with uh, uh, the other pieces in it so these are the 90 degree uh, uh, joints I'm going to use I'm not gluing them because uh, everything's low pressure so uh, let me show you how I'm going to have these installed so this is my 8 inch piece in the bucket it will be uh, put in like that and then the outside will be the same like that so the bucket will be in the middle and that will um, allow the water to drain out of the buckets and this gives me enough room to uh, maneuver this to line up with the three inch pipe that it needs to drain into so uh, yeah that's what it will look like and this is what the finished product will look like have its little 90 degree pieces on it and drain out the side like so. So that's the goal. <laughs> so I have 24 more buckets, 23 more buckets to go. So yeah, we'll be here a while. All right, so I had to make a little change. And like I said, I'm learning here. I decided to change to a different kind of bit. And I'm decided to go to a 7 8 instead of a 1 inch. Uh, the reason being is when you use this other drill bit, um, it uh, moves a little bit and heats up and one of my holes was a little larger than I wanted it to be now luckily I had an extra um, some extra grommets of different sizes that saved me uh, but yeah so uh, we won't make that mistake again so I just drilled this one with the new drill drill bit and using the grommet and we'll see how that works I'm Pretty sure I'll be much happier with it. All right, remember I told you how this is all new to me? So I tried the 7 8 hole a little bit too small. So I went to a 1 inch using this type of uh, uh, cutter or drill bit. Works a lot better, much cleaner, and a nice clean cut. And the grommets and everything fits so much better. So all is good. Go with a 1 inch. Use this type of drill, drill bit, and uh, you'll get a nice clean hole. So uh, the only bad part is it's hard to get the plastic off of the little tip on here uh, after you drill it. But that's the least of your problems. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm sticking with. One inch drill bit, 
open face kind do not use this kind of drill bit uh, it was definitely not working so well worked but not very it's not clean so anyway there you go all right well I got 12, 12 buckets done so far and uh, I'm gonna take a break on that and so a uh, couple of lessons learned but uh, came out all right so how's that looking guys it looks like uh, <coughs> we're on our way to having a Dutch bucket system pretty cool huh all right guys I want to do a quick follow-up on yesterday's project uh, so far everything looks kind of good looks like my blueberries might have been a little bit shocked about being outside but we'll cross our fingers and keep an eye on it uh, so we're still waiting before I forget these are back ordered and I'm waiting for those to come in so luckily I haven't got my strawberries in yet so I'm in good shape there and uh, the uh, last thing I wanted to follow up on before I go back and start building more buckets is uh, the onions onions are uh, looking all right they're uh, a hardy plant so uh, I give them a couple of days to take and we'll see what happens I am going to add one more row of onions on the outside because <coughs> yeah, I got lots of Walla Walla onions so that's a good thing all right I gotta get back to work in the greenhouse I got the rest of the buckets done so I got 24 in all got them all uh, grommet piped and uh, all their fittings together and so the next thing we'll do is have uh, when Sherry gets home we'll kind of determine how we want to space these and then start thinking about setting up the three inch pipe for drainage and the tank so yeah we're getting pretty far it's starting to look like a Dutch bucket system in here so uh, lessons learned your hands are gonna get tired from shoving those pipes through and uh, uh, it's tedious you just got to get her done so anyway <laughs> that's the only wisdom I got for that all right well we got the buckets done for now and uh, next thing I need to do is my wife says hey uh, there's no reason why you can't do another row on the outside for those onions so uh, I got the burner I just bought this thing's awesome let's burn some holes Alright, we got a uh, got the third row put in there. That's looking pretty good. And uh I should have lots of onions. Now I just gotta decide what to do with that side because that gets a little more shade for the next month or so and pretty soon this whole thing will be in the sunshine. But until then I need something that's pretty hardy. So we'll we'll figure it out. Alright, now that planting is done, time to check on the chickens. Looks like uh, water's doing okay. Looks like actually they're doing good on food. So uh, I'm not doing a thing. I do have to pick up their eggs a little bit later. But uh, they're, in, they're in good shape. Watch your head. Well, I think I'll just sit me a spell. Just got the chickens all taken care of. Watered down the compost watered all the other plants I did water the onions 
and uh, I'm gonna sit here for a minute enjoy the dogs and then think about the other hundred projects I got to do anyway guys I want to thank you very much gonna wrap it up in this video right here our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob poopy bags available at Amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.